Hi folks, welcome back to the garage. This episode we did get our steel in for our mounting adapters. So we got to go ahead and cut that down to the exact shape we need it. So we'll go ahead and start with that and then we'll do a quick test fit. See how everything shakes out. If it all looks good, we'll cut out our support pieces on it, weld them in and then mount it all up. So this is perfect. We got that hogged out where we needed to. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this for the other side, then mark up where we're gonna put our bolt holes back here, and then the ones on the bottom, we're just gonna weld uh, nuts onto the top of this, and then just bolt it through in the bottom up here. So that's gonna be real easy. So that way, when we're done with this, it's gonna be two bolts back there. We're gonna put in another space right here, weld it in with another bolt up front, that way it's got cantilever support. Uh, and, and with this, we'll just bolt this to the top and then we can do the same thing on the other side and then come back, put our frame up and bolt it from the bottom. Then we're gonna have to migrate on back here where we're gonna have to reroute all these lines because we need to put the support from the back arm down here. So we'll figure that out I'm not gonna reuse the Crown Vic one just because of how bulky it is, but we'll figure something out that's a little smaller and then put it on back here. The bolt holes right up here. So we'll figure that out. Um, not as stressed about this as I was getting that portion done.
All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and lift this up. We're gonna spray paint the top of both of these just real quick while it's still wet. Uh, we're gonna lift it up into position and it'll stamp in exactly where we want our mountain bolts to be. So the first go around didn't work. The white paint tacked up too fast and it didn't want to uh, blow out or anything. So we hit it, we put it back up, and then I hit it with some black and now we got a pretty good stamping of exactly where the bolt holes need to go. So we'll go ahead and drill those and then get it bolted up get this bolted up, see how everything sits. Uh, positioning was all perfect. So all I'm really worried about is just getting it mounted up. After that, we'll know exactly where to cut it, which will be in line with this front edge right here. And once we do that, so after we cut off the rest of the front right here, where we need it at, we'll go ahead and fabricate up our um, motor mounts which are going to be just two pieces of square tubing uh, with a cutout for bolt holes should be perfect and then uh, we'll go ahead and cut off the rest of the top Side, we're gonna take and bolt up this side as well and then after it's all bolted up we'll go ahead and bolt the subframe up make sure everything fits good and just leave it hanging Alright guys, well, it's definitely on here, and you can see down here, it's just hanging on, but... Houston, you have a problem. Problem. And the problem is, I started looking at this as I was cleaning up the garage the other day, and as we come up over here, I never noticed when I picked this up. This... The tie rod end is all bent. The threading is bent. So that rack is no good. I didn't notice this upper A-arm knocked off its mounts. So it looks like this whole thing has been in a pretty good collision. Brakes are shot. The spindle's shot. The, uh, let's see. The sway bar, it's dislocated, needs a new ball joint. And I started looking more and more at this and how much it's gonna cost to fix everything. And it just doesn't make sense to go with this. So, back to square one. We're gonna have to take all this back off. Jesus, Grandpa, what did you read me this thing for? And with that being said, what we're going to do is once we take all this back off, I already ordered a Mustang II suspension instead, and we're gonna weld it in place. So that's the path we're gonna go down, and I'll catch you all on the next episode where we start working on the Mustang II suspension. See ya.